Hello everybody! So, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a program called File Marker. Um, what this program does is it allows you to change the color of the folders in Windows. So, to start off, I'm having a little technical difficulty here. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so what that does is it allows you to have change color of the folders. Uh, instead of this default like vanilla or manila as they would say, All right, so I have it dragged onto my desktop up here. So just to get it in frame, I'll just move that down there. It's called Folder Marker Pro. There is also a home edition of the software. So we are going to install it. This is a 32-bit program. This is a 64-bit version of Windows, so it should work. So we're going to launch Folder Maker. Now this is the first time for me using this. So this is an unregistered version. If you want to use it permanently, you're going to have to buy it. So but just for the sake of this video so now I'm going to create a folder here and I'm just going to call it test alright as you can see I have that new folder so what I want to do now is you click this icon right up here you click OK I am going to go to colors alright so you have all your multiple colors here and for me when if you ever walk into a business and you see a file cabinet uh, an employee opens and they have different color folders for different things that they need that's basically what this is in a computer environment so let's say it's health insurance and that's a serious thing so you click that you click the red and you click apply the folder is now red let's say it's not that serious so you do blue you click apply the folder is now blue I know it blends in let's say you're an attorney and you have a closed case folder is now black I'm going to change it back to the default there so you can do every day so let's say you have Windows files you click that click apply you get that icon you need to burn software that you downloaded from a company server there you go you click main you have word folder there you go as you can see it does that
your paperwork is done. You do that. Personally, I like the color aspect of this software. It's either the icon or the color of the folder. You can't um, do that. But what's cool down here is you can make customized folders for for folder distributable. And you can apply the selected icon for all the subfolders. So if you have a tree with folders under it, you can make that all one color. Private files. There you go. Now this is the pro version. So obviously this is a trial. This would be used, I recommend a, if you own a business, I do recommend you buy this. So anyway, I will get the home one installed and we'll check that out. Okay, so now I have Folder Marker Pro uh, Home, and there's also a free edition. So, we're going to test out both, like we did with Pro. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag You have home and you have free. So we're going to drag the home version here. We're going to install it. And they are all 4.3, version 4.3. I'm going to override everything in there. We're going to launch, launch it. If you notice, there's a little bit of different stuff. So, on the Pro version, you had the Microsoft Office, and you had certain things, and you had private files and stuff like that. On this one, you have Photoshop documents. You have... This is all the Photoshop suite stuff. So... My preferences are still there for the folder that's selected. So, say you use Google Chrome. That's what I use for certain things. So, you want that folder to be for that. I apply. There you go. You use you save stuff for Messenger. Facebook Messenger. There you go. You save stuff from TeamViewer. There you go. Steam. There you go. And as with Pro, you can make customized folder to, do, to distribute. Apply selected icon for all subfolders. So there you go. Or is it files or anything like that? So now let's go to the free version.
And yes, I want to override it. Okay, with the free version, you're not going to get very, very much, which is understandable. Uh, for me, uh, I just cr create any old folder and put it in there. So, as you can see, you're not going to get very, very much. And you can add your icons and stuff like that. So, and there you go. This is the free edition. It comes in a variety of languages. You can do multiple folders. And what you can do is you can add all the folders that you want. This goes for both Home and Pro as well. You could add that in there and do that and make them all one color. Oops. So I'm going to add it, once we add it again, there we go. So anyway, that is it for this video, please comment, like, and subscribe.